My daughter just started her first year in college, and as I was flying here today, I didn't feel like I had anything to share with you that you hadn't already learned here. I took out my journal. I looked up the things that I wrote to my daughter as she was sitting there listening to one of her professors on her first day as a freshman. These are the things that I wrote to tell my daughter. You are never alone, and there is never trouble that is beyond help. Your father loves you, and your heavenly father loves you. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow may never come, but as long as we have today, it's never too late. Question with boldness. Read what they tell you not to. Challenge everything. The educated of this time are growing arrogant, and arrogance leads to darkness. Sunlight is the best disinfectant. However, sanitizer is a must. Especially in New York City. In New York City, honey, is best most times just not to touch. Look for the exits. They may save your life. Respect others. Know that they're most likely afraid, just like you. In fact, I found the more arrogant and forceful they become, the more afraid they are. The worst thing in life you can do is dishonor yourself or your family, and then go living a life without setting it right. Marry for love, marry for laughs, but most importantly, as my wife Tanya taught me, marry with God. For without God, life's storms are too strong to withstand. The Lord lives and He is personal. He loves you and is always there to help. But we have to train ourselves to hear Him. We have to use our faith and exercise it like a muscle. The more we use faith, the louder He becomes. Serve Him in all things. Stand where He asks you to stand. Stand, for you do have a purpose. Your job is just to remember who you are. Remember what you agreed upon. We're meant to be happy. But remember, no pain, no gain. Life is hard. And then, it gets harder. And then you die. But every single second of life is worth it. Always say what you mean, and mean what you say. Turn the other cheek, and always forgive. But don't forget so much that you put yourself in the same situation. Question authority, including everything that I've just told you. You have everything you need. You have everything you need to be happy. May you figure that out before I did. People are good. They want to do the right thing. Give them the opportunity. Shadows are darkest at noon, and it always gets colder before sunrise. It's never wrong to do the right thing. Learn to love others that you don't know or really don't like. Read the scriptures every day. They are alive, and he speaks to you through them. There are no coincidences in life. Learn, laugh, love. Sleep hard and sleep less. Pray on your knees. To whom much is given, much is required. You've been given the world and beyond. Only date those who love you as much as I do. Only date those who will treat you as I have tried. Never want anything too much. You'll always end up paying too high of a price one way or another. If you must shoot, shoot to kill. Labels are meaningless. Someone you meet today is afraid. They're suffering. Find them. Comfort them. Never let the sun go down without saying you're sorry for your wrongs. Your dad misses you. Call him. Call him now. What, why haven't you called him yet? Life goes by far too fast. Keep a journal. Write what you think. Write what you question. Write what you know. There is order in all things. Stay in that order. Stay in the flow. You will find very few real friends in life. Cherish them. Things will change and you'll fall in and out of each other's lives. But when you do come back, it'll be as if you never left. The hardest thing to do is to admit failure. To admit weakness. 
only the very strong do. The weak never ask for help. Fasting is prayer. Fasting without prayer is a diet. And why? Why haven't you called your father yet?